This exercise is called Bagua Kalbi, and it has many functions. One is a forearm conditioning drill. It also practices your blocks, your footwork, and there's also can be used as a striking drill and has a couple of different applications hidden within it. Very important drill, Bagua Kalbi. This is a form of uh, Shaolin push hands. Very important drill. Looks like a basic drill that's not important. Actually, it's very important. It practices your balance, making contact with the opponent, and getting comfortable with being within this range while maintaining your stance, while maintaining contact with the opponent's arm. Okay, here we're going to work some applications, basic chi na, locking technique, off the Shaolin push hands, step in, lock the elbow, lock the knee. So this is a way to practice the technique from Shaolin Kung Fu, off this drill. Practicing the push hands and then into the technique. Here we got a neck strike throw. Grab the wrist, strike the neck, off balance the person, step behind them and throw them. Grab the wrist, strike the throat, step behind them and throw. Here you step in, you check the guy's arm, trapping it, and push using your body with the trapped arm and your free hand pushes as well. Here we have a similar throw, this time your elbow striking the guy in the neck, stepping behind him, throwing him backwards. So you're striking, off balancing him and throwing him at the same time. All being practiced off this Shaolin push hands technique. Here we have a little freestyle balance game. Your objective is to move your opponent out of his stance. So you're practicing your horse stance, your stability in your horse stance. You're also practicing your hip movements and your pulling motion. My partner, his name is Shebo, he's 16 years old. I've been doing martial arts almost twice as long as he's been alive. So if I can move him out of his stance, doesn't say anything about his ability, just the fact that I've been doing martial arts twice as long as he's been alive. Here's another game where your, your objective is to grab your opponent's wrist and pull him out of his stance, trying not to let your opponent grab your wrist. So here you're practicing your stability in your stances, your pulling motion, your wet waist motion, as well as your uh, defense against wrist grabs. Okay, now this can be practiced from a horse stance or from a front stance. Practicing your stability in your stances, your wrist escapes, your waist motion, your pulling strength.
Here we have another cooperative drill. This one's also very important. Here you're practicing the simple technique where you fold the guy's leg and off balance him. If you follow through with the technique, of course the person's gonna fall on their butt. But it's also helping you understand your own balance and your partner's balance. Also getting you comfortable with being within this range and making contact with another uh, partner.